Rode just recently released the Rode Streamer X, and I want to believe that it's the best capture card that's out on the market right now. But at a price tag of four hundred dollars, has Rode lost their mind? Like, do they need to hit the road? Hit the road, Jack. Or is four hundred dollars actually too cheap for a device like this? What? I'm out, man. I'm tripping. Let's talk about it. All right, right now, I believe that Rode has entered the Apple space, the Apple ecosystem space. What I mean by that is Rode is at a place now where they're really kind of just competing with their selves. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, really think about it. We've got the Rodecaster Pro 2 that has been out for some while. We've got this device, the Rode Streamer X, which basically has like a Rodecaster Pro somewhat built into it. And then, you know, you can now pre-order what was just released was the Rode Caster Duo, okay? So again, you know, I know a lot of people are probably asking the question, you know, like which device should I get? Like, what should I actually buy? Well, I think, you know, if, if you're a person like myself, if you're a solo creator, if you're creating Instagram Reels, TikToks, YouTube Shorts, or maybe you're just doing talking head videos for YouTube or LinkedIn, something like that, Zoom calls, different type of webinars, um, or maybe you just wanna do some tutorials or just kind of level up your solo creator um, gear, then I think this is device is going to be actually perfect for you. The Rode Streamer X combines the best of both worlds as it relates to audio and video, giving you those same legendary preamps that come from the Rodecaster Pro 2 and are now in the Rodecaster Duo. You're gonna get the great preamps and then you're also gonna get the ability to capture 4K 30 frames per second and also be able to pass through 4K 60 frames per second. So if you're a gamer, that's gonna be dope. Listen, in addition to that, you have the quarter inch jack that's gonna allow you to monitor your audio with headphones. And then you also have the eighth inch or what you know is the aux input or the 3.5 millimeter jack that's gonna allow you to plug in, um, you know, a broadcast or a gaming style microphone, you know, so that's gonna be dope. Listen, not to mention, there's also a wireless receiver that's built directly into the Rode Streamer X that's gonna allow you to connect um, the Rode Wireless Mies or the Rode Wireless Go 2s so you can actually have a wireless setup going on. On top of that, you get the smart pads, which you already know can be used for voice effects. It can be used for sound effects. If you wanna play music specifically inside of your content or your stream, it can be used for that. Also, this kind of is a, you know, um, a stream deck from the standpoint of, you know, you can actually take those smart pads, use the MIDI control and get them to control other things like the stream deck would, or you can simply use these, you know, to control your presentation if you're doing something inside of Zoom, PowerPoint, or something like that. So if you think about all of that packed into this one small device, I mean, is the $400 really overpriced or is it actually cheaper than potentially what it could be? Because if you think about the competitor to this that's out there on the market right now, the best competitor you're probably, that comes to mind is probably the Elgato HD60X. But the thing is, you're getting the basic things you would get from any other capture card. You're getting the inputs for your HDMI. You get the ability to capture. You also get the pass through, and then you get the 3.5 millimeter jack um, that's gonna allow you to either you know connect some headphones or connect the microphone, but that's it. That's $199 at the time of this recording. That's half the price of the Rode Streamer X. Well, look at everything else you get with the Rode Streamer X. You're getting everything you get with the HD60X plus you're getting basically what we would consider a, a Rodecaster Mini or Rodecaster Solo specifically built inside of the unit. You're also getting the smart pads. You're also getting those great preamps. Um, you're also getting the wireless receiver, you know, and, and I mean, it just it just looks great, you know, and I know people and, and not to mention, you also get the dual USB. I forgot about that. You get the dual USB so you can run this inside of one machine, run it into another machine, you know, and I know people are saying, well, well, you know, saying it has a roadcaster built into it. You know, we're talking apples to oranges. Listen, throw the apples to oranges out. Just think of it as apple to apple pie. You know, you know what I'm saying? You, you still can't top all of the features that you're getting out inside of the Rode Streamer X. So I think $400, even though it's kind of steep for most people, I think definitely like take myself, for example, like right now I'm using the Rodecaster Pro 2 to record this portion of the video. And then to capture, I use a Sony ZV-E10. I have to use a cam link to actually bring that in. 
the Rodecaster Pro is $700. The Cam Link right now is about $100. And, 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 and just so you know, I'll include the links to everything down in the description. Well, you're talking about an eight, $900, almost $1,000 investment as it relates to just those two pieces of equipment, you know, if we include tax in that. You chop that in half, you get not only a video capture card, but you get the audio, you know, basically interface device all in one, plus some other features that I think are gonna be dope. So can you really argue against a $400 price tag for that? All right, so what I love about the Streamer X is right off the box, the form factor. This is a small device that's gonna save a lot more space on my desk but again it packs a lot of punch the build quality um is pretty solid i'm not gonna say it's the same build quality as something like the roadcaster pro 2 of course that has a lot more weight to it you can tell this is more of a high grade plastic but i do love it i still love the fact that you get the smart pads i love the fact you know that you get the knobs where you can still turn i think you know the fact that i can simply you know mute and and disable my audio and video right there from the device i think that's cool i love the fact that i still get the two um usbs to be able to use um and and the price point again is not bad for everything that you're getting you know maybe something like 2.99 i think may be a better sweet spot but when you're road and you really have no competition in this space um i think that's going to be dope what i don't like about it though is the price tag <laughs> 3.99 and, and, and again i'm complaining about what would be considered a first world problem people are like well Walt, you just raved about it being undervalued i think it is i just think for an entry level device and again this is Rhodes' introduction into video so i'm not mad at the price maybe a 50 dollars discount you know i wouldn't have been mad at something like 349 um you know 350 dollars you know 50 dollars discount i'm like 399 it is a little pricey but again this has already paid for itself i'm not complaining and that's the thing going back to what i was talking about before like who is this for like you have to seriously ask yourself do you have gas which is better known as gear acquisition syndrome and you just want the latest you know and greatest or is this going to be something that's going to level up your production bring you more business bring you more clientele um, bring you more subscribers views you know if you're already monetized or something like that and help take your channel or whatever type of content you're creating to the next level the other thing that i don't like but i think this is going to be something coming down the road um, i don't like the fact that it doesn't have an additional hdmi i think that would have really 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 been dope and uh, and and made sure that nobody else can really compete with road in this space granted i'm not complaining you know you have the hdmi input to capture and then you have the pass through but i think again like for myself even i'm probably going to be using this with my ps5 for most of the content um, and even though i'll be able to capture that and output that to my monitor i still have to utilize a cam link or something like that to bring in my external camera as i was saying earlier which is a mirrorless camera the sony zv e10 or sometimes i do use my sony a7 IV. Um, for some capture so so that's the only thing that's kind of the biggest thing that i don't like i hate the fact that um you know out of the box and if you're using this with road central you can't use you know the uh regular mic like i'm using a pod mic usb and then the wireless mic so like a wireless me or a wireless go to and the headset all at the same time which i know is going to change because again you will be able to do that supposedly you know somebody verify that for me but you should be able to do that with the road x unify software i know it's available for windows right now it's not available for mac um beta is supposed to be released at the time of recording this is supposed to be released midway through june so i have signed up for the beta so hopefully i get an email saying the beta is available because i would love you know to kind of check that out road central i'm not sure what the deal is with that if if unify is you know the road x series is such a difference from everything else let's just marry everything together one system you got road connect road central and unify too much it's, it's too much room for error too much opportunity and room um, for confusion so that is one thing i would like road if you're watching for you to definitely clean up there needs to be one software that we go for everything either manage your devices get firmware updates and all of that jazz but other than that i, I absolutely love um, the device i love the form factor and again i love the power um that's actually packed into this streamer x you know this definitely simplifies things which i think that's who road is marketing to even for the video that i'm recording now i won't have any problem just being able to turn on the camera 
turn this on and hit record and go ahead and record everything I need to record, whether it's a reel, whether it's a talking head video, whether it's a tutorial or something like that. So again, if you're looking to take your audio and your video game to the next level, but you wanna make sure it's simple, you don't want all of this complicated tech and equipment. You want to make sure it's simple. And then you want to make sure that you future proof yourself because I think you're going to be good to go with this for a while. Um, I think the Rode Streamer X is going to be the best option for you. And I honestly am confident and say, I can say that this is the best bang for your buck. This is the best 4K capture card on the market right now. So hopefully you got some value out of that. You know, again, I'm going to be creating a lot more content if you're interested in seeing how i actually set up the playstation with the road streamer x please definitely let me know we'll be doing once unify comes out you know we'll be doing some videos specifically on that setup and then how it looks uh, with road central and all those different types of things but listen do me a favor if you found some value out of this if you want to see more content about the streamer x drop that down in the comments while you're doing that hit that like button smash that subscribe button and while you're at it click the bell so you can be notified every single time i post this type of content to my channel but until next time i'll catch you guys in the next video